We chased a little bit more perfection this round. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be better. Uh, they do move us up to the middle T set here, but we have high winds out of the west. Things are getting very firm, and the greens are getting even faster. So we're just going to have to be super, super cautious. Super, super cautious on some of these approach shots. Now, they do present us with an interesting predicament here, which is that we can probably carry it about 330, and with it being very firm, I think you can probably bound it down a good way. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna try for it. I think we're gonna try and see just where we can get to. A little bit of a push slow, but wind is coming off of that right hand side. And it probably is to get all the way down to the green that I needed to play for an overpower shot. But at least down in here, we're probably, yeah, we're in flop territory for sure. Downhill lie in very firm green, so I've got to think I got to give it, got to give it the bite. Lie definitely plays way more than wind. It's a decent stroke. The fast brings us back out to the left. There's the bite, though. So overall, solid shot. We've just got a lot of break coming in here. We're able to pay it off though. There's OB, so do need to respect that tee shot a bit. Yeah, but I'd have to, I know that I'd have to hit it super, super poorly in order to bring that OB into play. So for me, like, probably easier to just not think about it and play the, play the shot straight up. So definitely a tight squeeze. Probably need to try. Try and sit down this, uh, this eight. I th it's like the one place that I can't have that kind of swing. Ugh. Okay. Not bad. Was definitely flirting with being too short there, though. Too firm? No, we're good. Okay. We're just gonna write that hole off. I've got to figure out what's going on, though, that I'm hitting those fast. Because that's just... That's not in our game plan. I don't think it's in anybody's game plan, but... It's definitely not in ours. What's going on, kids? <laughs> yeah, just uh we've been having we've been having one of those days where the the swing just feels enough off and so it throws off my I, I either hit wrong power or wrong tempo from time to time because it just isn't it isn't having that natural feel to it. So just gotta, gotta try and feel it out just a bit more. Uphill. Definitely gonna be playing the left to right. Wind on it as well.
See, like there, so I, it, I, instead of the fast, now it's 102 slow, because there's just all sorts of stuff going on in the head that's not trusting what anything feels like. I really don't know how you guys just play for, like, mega fasts all the time. Really don't know how you do it! I don't know, I mean, it's in a closer spot. But the wind conditions are... Not ideal, but I mean there is a chance that we can we can still get here in two again. Uphill with wind. It's very firm. I just don't know if the hybrid's gonna chase enough, but I know that this is definitely 250. That three wood's gonna be too much. And that's too much distance. But is it? So I don't think it's gonna take all that much. Hey, what's up, Crazy Knees? Slow. 102 slow. I mean, there it is again. There it is again, so we're gonna be in this, this lower portion. Just gonna have to make sure that we, uh, we play this putt outside, outside enough so that as it takes the ridge up, as it takes the ridge up, we can at least have a chance. Hey, what's going on, Ben? Welcome back. Broke a little bit more coming up the hill. Good lag, though. Good lag. Gotta, gotta take what we can get. Gotta take what we can get. Alright, so we gotta swing a little bit faster than that. Tee shot here, it doesn't really matter. It's really the approach shots that that starts to... starts to become more problematic okay so full lofted shot this would take us down something like 93 95 wins a few yards Come on, even with that downhill and the wind at the back, I thought the two of those would nullify it a little bit, give us a little bit more rollout on this sort of green speed. But unfortunately, that is not the case. All right, trying to come in that right side door here. And in we go! Okay. Making putts like that is gonna go a long way. Making putts like that is gonna go a long, long way for us. Oh, this is a really nasty, nasty pin. Swing a little bit off is the same as miles off and actually maybe worse. 
Yeah, it's just like... If it's off enough, right? If you're not just off on the tempo, that's where it goes. And then same with power and stuff, right? Like that's all of a sudden that's several yards in multiple directions. But how you doing, guys? Uh, there is no cut line in this crazy because we're in we're in the top flight. So on the platinum tour, they have no cut, um, but it's a smaller field. So we're. Uh, We've got to put together four good rounds, otherwise we could be facing demotion marks. So gotta gotta put together at least four solid rounds. All right. I gotta I gotta play somewhere out here. I think. It's a good line, it's still too short. I just, I don't think I can, I don't think I can deluff the nine iron as much as I think. Nine under per 18, good enough to avoid a demo? I'm, I'm hoping so, cause I'm under that, right? So. It's hard to tell, especially because like the weekend rounds I believe are are quite tough. That just didn't break it early on. Also carried way too much speed. Alright, that was just- that was always gonna be a really tough hole. That was always gonna be a really tough hole. I think- I think the lesson learned there is in that situation, probably trying to take something off of the 8-iron is going to be... more likely to give us, uh... More likely to give us something decent than trying to stretch that nine iron. Cause I, I think I think I'm just over overplaying in my head what I can get out of that nine iron. Or maybe I just need to deloft it more. Maybe I can get some out of that nine, but just not in the way that I tried to. All right, I think we just, I think we honestly just take this stock. I think we can go, I think we can go right around this backstop for a little bit and then it should have some bite. Maybe even give it just a touch of. Hold it. But what we need here is just a little spin back. It at least, it at least puts us on the dance floor. And with a decent look here. So this, this front nine is already going exponentially better than, than the last front nine. But we gotta we gotta make sure that it doesn't it doesn't end here, right? Like this is just this is just a start. I think I just send it because I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure there that I don't end up in a bunker. And I think if we, I think if we lay back to, if we lay back to our hybrid and try and do something there, more than, more than likely, 
More than likely, it's not going to be great. Ah, Boost, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, that's, a, that's a name I recognize. Overhit it a little bit. I'm not trying to go. I'm not trying to go 102. So that does backfire on us just a touch here. But hopefully we can make. Hopefully we can make this guy drift back in for us. There we go. What's going on, Boost? How are you doing? Be wary of hole 13? Is that just a concern for this round, or are you saying in general? Because we... I mean, we did play it on Trusive, right? So I've, I've seen hole 13... What, five times now? <laughs> Four light illegal pit, okay. Okay, so it's it's more so just a this round thing. Oh, and this feeds down there, there's a little bit. So you've gotta get it running, which 175. Oh, eight iron. There's a good strike, and we're too far to the left. We're not too far to the left? I, I really thought we were going to get kicked straight off the green. Sit, 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 sit. Take that. I, I really thought when that landed that we were just getting kicked straight left out. That's a very aggressive line. That is a very, very, very aggressive line. Oh boy. Okay. This just breaks so much. But if you get too far to the right, I feel like it kind of, kind of flattens out a little bit. Like, but I think you're always on such an inside line. I think you're always on such an inside line that I don't think the, the flattening matters. Well, that's firm. Maybe it, it, do, it does matter. It does matter if you overhit it. It does matter if you send it through to the flat. <laughs> well, we had an opportunity to eagle. But you gotta, you gotta hit all your shots, you know? You gotta hit all your shots. That wasn't good. That's got to get down and kick left. Okay, we're going to be fine. Just got off work. Got a couple Tarkov raids in. Going to hang around and watch some golf. Sounds like a, sounds like a nice post-work routine. Hopefully your Tarkov raids went well. I've watched a little bit of Tarkov. That's way too... Way too much, like, tactical and high high stress stuff for me. I think we have to take five iron. I'm, I'm realizing given the way that this pin is that you probably want to drive it with like an overpower or some loft or something. Try and try and take yourself a bit further down because this is definitely not, definitely not ideal. Okay, so it's going to go, it's going to go left, wind, downhill.
Oh, I shaped it too much, maybe? Maybe not, stay. Stay. Oh, that's a shot. That's a shot. Whew. Maybe we can convert this one. Maybe we can convert this one. Oh, I underhit it. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I I got I got so scared about blasting it and it doing so. I gotta commit. You gotta just you gotta just trust. Alright, well, you know, that's 0 for 2 on, on golf shot conversions. I wanna talk about why i why I have so many putts per round. It's precisely things like that. Alright. This is a very tucked pin in the back with some substantial wins. Like substantial enough that I think we've got to go all the way out here. There's the pull fast. It's gonna give us too much distance. So hopefully this sits. Okay. It's not great, but we do actually have some sort of a chance from here. Like, just some sort of a chance. pushed my swing plane. Everything else about that shot was really good, but I really thought that I had... I really thought I had a better swing than that. Well. Chalk up, uh, chalk up another loss. Yeah, it's just, it's been... It's been a couple of, a couple of rounds with not the best ball striking. But it's it's tough when when things just feel a little bit off in the hands and in the head. You know, it's uh tough to tough to battle tough to battle back from that. Pushed it and I hit it short. Oh, the short's actually gonna help. Or not. Gonna get the, the side spin. Love the side spin. Just trust your trust your swing and, and hit the hit the pace. Cause we can we can make some putts. We can make some putts if we just just commit. Like focus in, just trust that whatever if you're hesitant during your swing, like you've written your own You've written your own death warrant. I mean honestly. It's the same thing with any of the shots. Like a putt, an approach shot, doesn't matter. If you back out of it mid-swing, like that is gonna be recipe for absolute, absolute disaster. I, mean, I really don't know what you're expecting to get out of it once you've, once you've gone that far. I've gotten a little bit too close. I've gotten just a little too close. Yeah. 
seeds left to right, so I gotta be out here. Kick right. So like, I this is always the eternal question of how aggressive do you get? Or do you just, do you just put it so high out here? <laughs> I, I hate that, that pot I hate with every fiber of my being. I hate that putt with every fiber of my being. Oh boy. Okay. I told myself I wasn't gonna drive 14. I I see what you I see what you mean there, Stives about that pin. I I see what you mean. Like that that pin is just disgusting in every. Every sense. That's definitely way too far. But on the bright side, way too far just means a bunker shot. So I don't think it's the worst thing. Scale one to 10, how much fun am I having on these rounds? Seven, I mean, most of, here's the thing, Lucas, right now, most of my pain is because of my own inputs, not because of the course. Like I, I know, Full well, full well that my inputs are causing me most of my issues right now. Yeah, that's a downhill lie. Okay. Which means I gotta play it even shorter. Wow. I'm I'm surprised. I am surprised. I thought I thought downhill lie was going to be playing way 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 more. Always blame the course what's wrong with me? <laughs> the course isn't making me hit 102 very fast. Fine, it's a good game. Fine with all sports games, because there's only so much they can do with it. They get samey. I, I think it's a very good game as well. I, I, I still wish there was a bit more done with it. But I think overall it is... It is pretty good. All right, what could go what could go wrong with this shot? The fact that I thought it was gonna maybe turn over a lot more leaves a lot to be desired here. I thought with that I thought with that wind in that shape I could get it several yards more to the left and get it to actually like run down towards the hole. 
Player progression is the main thing lacking? Well, player progression is more so about you improving, right? I mean, they let you, you, you unlock skills and that's your player progression, but I mean, in a game like this, it's really more so about your own improvement than just the game getting better for you because you played it more. That might be a little heavy-handed. Yeah. It's a little bit. But this was, this was always, this was always gonna be a tough, tough hole. Like it was just, it was always gonna be a difficult, difficult hole there. I was hoping for more out of the approach shot, but that, I don't know that pin, there can't be that many birdies on that hole. The way that pin is tucked back, that's pretty, pretty crazy stuff there. So what, you drive it, leave a pitch shot. I don't know, the pitches haven't been, haven't been bad today. Maybe it's a mistake to go for it, but feel like there's enough, there's enough of a flat area that as long as we get it somewhere in close that I, I hopefully am fine. But I say that and then like we get something like this. So admittedly something like this is a little bit like you take the pitching or the gap wedge pitch and you're long. But like maybe, maybe with the gap wedge pitch, we can take it long and have it actually, have it actually spin back for us. Might be too much spin. Settle. It's okay, it's gonna be a tough putt, but we're at least down on the right plateau. That was always the risk there, because if I go for the shot that I want, I'm bringing into play that, that bunker if I don't clear it, so. I think that this like has to be the play. As much as I don't really want it to be the play, I think it I think it kinda lends itself to being all I can do. Almost. We almost we almost snag one there. Fittings and balls are a cheesy way. Practicing flop shots with your characters should make your stat better for the week or something along that line. And I'm not, I, I'm personally one that would rather my character be better because I got better at the game than because I had some perk from practicing or just from playing the game more. I, I think it, I, I enjoy it in a career mode sense, but then to bring that online, I think is, you know, it's fun for the career mode, right, to have my character just gets godly, but bringing that character online, I don't really like the concept of going up against somebody who might just have like a really great character because they've just put in a ton of hours. Or spent a bunch of money depending on Depending on the scenario. Slowed it a little bit, but that might be just fine. That is just fine.
That is just fine. EA's new game? EA's game has arcadey stuff, but also has has the ability to make it more sim. So I I mean theoretically that is EA's new game, but there's we're not 100% confirmed on any of that, right? We only know what they've shown us. That was the most flirtatious of shots. I was trying to get it to bring back to the fairway here. Oh wow, we're actually gonna do it. We're actually gonna do it. Wind it around the tree. <laughs> okay then. Wind it up around the trees there and then float it into here. Um, this wind poses a significant, significant problem to us, though. So I think we're a few yards long. I think it wants to roll. There is backstop. I'd rather be long, though. So I think with the shot like this, I think we just take stock seven and whatever we get, we get. You know, I expect there to be a lot of... I expect there to be a lot of slope. Or like a lot of downhill in this putt. But I always think I'd rather I'd rather a putt than Oh that might come down. I'd rather a putt than trying to chip one in. That's just that's just a nasty Nasty, nasty approach shot there. That's a that's a big round. That's a big round. We get we get twelve on round two. Round one was very slow, but I will I will gladly take that. Definitely had our fair share of miss hits, but made some putts, made some really good really good shots when it counted. Gotta gotta see what we can do on the weekend. We are we are definitely not quite out of demo mark range, maybe a little bit, but gotta put gotta put together two more rounds here.